Hello and welcome back to this YouTube channel where I am banging the tin mug of radical criticism against the prison bars of bourgeois discourse. It's day four at the Cannes Film Festival and it's been great to see How to Have Sex, the feature debut from Brit filmmaker Molly Manning Walker, about three teenage girls heading off on holiday and hoping for something other than platonic encounters. Full on energy, likeable performances and very daft jokes turbocharge this film set on the party island of Malia in Crete. It delivers an intriguingly sympathetic, complex and even mysterious performance from Mia McKenna Bruce as the shyest of the trio, Tara, whose face in close up registers subtly shifting moods. For her, the quest for sex means more than for the others. She has still not had experience. Manning Walker herself coolly manages the film's own mood, drifting towards crisis and then retreating from it. Tara, or Taz, and her mate Sky, played by Lara Peake, and M, played by Enver Lewis, show up and get a room overlooking the pool in one of the resort hotels along Malia's main street. At night, pulsing with garish neon drunkenness, and during the day, eerily deserted, like the location for a gunfight in a western. On one horrendously hungover morning on the balcony, Tara is aware of a young man on the next door balcony looking at her. This is the goofy badger there with his mates, played by Sean Thomas. He senses something of Tara's loneliness and desperation to get sex out of the way. But of course, Tara wants this to happen with the right candidate. It's a moment for which, unlike GCSEs, there are no retakes. Poor Badger naturally wants to cop off, but in a million different tragicomic ways, he puts himself in the friend zone with Tara. And part of their complex chemistry is that both perhaps want friendship more. It is Badger's sexier, more boorish and insensitive mate Paddy, played by Samuel Bottomley, who takes Tara for a walk on the beach one night. But as the situation with Paddy progresses amidst the 24-7 bacchanal of pool parties and club nights led by robo-cheery reps, the exact nature of the resulting sex event is left crucially in question, and the title itself assumes a multiple meaning. With banteringly concealed envy, Sky asks Tara how it was. Did he throw you around in that? Well, did he? Does Tara want to remember it that way? Does she want to remember it at all? Consent is ambiguous. The film shows that the post-sex phase in Tara's mind is perhaps composed of an inner negotiation. Should she forget it and move on? This is an interestingly unsentimental film without the coming of age cliches and one from which the three leads emerge stronger and happier than before. That's it for the day. I'm going to have the bad taste to remind you to give this vlog a like and a share and of course to subscribe to this channel and leave a sensitive comment supporting my content. A demain. <laughs>